What's up guys, it's Sam from Paula Fishing and today I'm going to show you how we load test blanks to properly space guides. Stay tuned. In my mind, I've got a big red on the line. That's where I go when I'm itching. To feed my seven day addiction. One of the things that really makes and differentiates a handcrafted rod is the guide placement and guide spacing. So uh, typically when you buy a set of guides, depending on which ones you get, they'll come with a little piece of paper or there will be some sort of information that tells you how to space them out for a 7 foot or a 7 6 rod. And although that's a good starting point, we don't like to, you still have to low test each blank to make sure that that blank responds in the appropriate way because not every seven foot medium blank is the same, right? So uh, I might have one seven foot medium blank here from one manufacturer and a different one from a different manufacturer and they bend completely different based on the action uh, and even discrepancies in terms of what I call medium fast, someone else may call medium moderate fast. So for that reason, it's really important to, to load test each blank to make sure you reduce the friction, increase sensitivity uh, of, your, of your rod build. So we're gonna show you how we do it here in our shop. All right, so what I'm gonna do here is I've got markings on this table here for a seven foot uh, fast action blank, which is the blank that I'm building on. So I'm just gonna use these as indicators for uh, where to start off with my guides. So I'm just gonna mark them all here. And these are markings for a concept style guide, which I have right here. So today I'm building with American Tackles Tornado Guides. I like these, they're light, they're sensitive. Uh, we have them both in stainless and titanium, and so very um, typical type concept style uh, reduction train. Finished off with the, the micro running guides. So we're gonna build this. I'm actually gonna file these down on my grinder or on my grinder here and uh, before I put these on temporarily with rubber bands. All right guys, in yesterday's video I showed you guys how we put uh, guides on using rubber bands for running the, uh, the line up against it or for wrapping. And today I'm gonna show you actually with the, using rubber bands actually starts way before that. Actually we use it for the load testing of our blanks. So I'm gonna show you how we wrap our rods and install guides with rubber bands uh, temporarily to load, properly load test and, um, and space guides. Cup of coffee, early morning, me and my brothers and my daddy get going down to the local bay for some fishing fun. As we load up that four by four, the my office door said son get to work or you ain't working here no more all right guys so i've got my guides on here with rubber bands on here so these are actually really on there really tight um and i use my power wrapper just to kind of rest them there and do this so uh, and i've actually got a fishing reel here on here so when i'm and i'm run the braided line through it so the next thing i'm going to do is space my show you how we space our guides so I've got a clamp tied onto this my workbench right here, and I'm going to take this fishing line and just really hook up against, tie this knot against, a knot onto this clamp here. And so now that that's on, I'm just going to back up here a little bit, stand right here. And so these rubber bands actually hold a lot of tension. They actually you can tighten them up pretty tight, and honestly, like. I wouldn't say you could go out and fish in it, but it's pretty pretty close to it, so. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and reel this down, tighten my drag down like if I were hooking up on a big redfish. And, and so now I can really start testing this. I'm, as I'm bending this rod here, I'm looking to see where these guide placements are and what needs to be adjusted. So I can see a few guides, this one here, that needs to be brought down a little bit just to make sure I follow a steady curve. And I'm really just gonna, so now I know kind of what needs to be adjusted on there. I'm gonna make a few notes on it. It's the third guide. Uh, and I'm really just gonna pull on this. 
So see, you can do this. This is what rubber bands allow you to do. Really, this is, I mean, I'm putting a lot of tension. I can keep on putting tension on this. I mean, you can't do this with tape, right? So uh, in addition to helping you uh, put your wraps on these rubber bands, they really allow you to really put this amount. I mean, I'm fighting this like if I'm fighting a fish, right? And so, so I'm testing the blank. I'm testing my guide spacing. And, uh, and these guys, these rubber bands help me align space my guys appropriately. So uh, all the way around, this is uh, using rubber bands is a very, uh, it's, it's our hack for really making sure that we're putting out rods out there. It allows us a lot of flexibility uh, before we even put the permanent wraps on to really test the blank, test our spacing and, and get things right. So, so if you guys haven't already subscribed to our channel, Please subscribe to our channel if you got any value out of this video, specifically uh, how to use rubber bands for spacing your guides. Please like our video. If you have any questions uh, below or any questions on what we do or any techniques on how we space our guides, feel free to add them in the comments below it too. So, so guys, I hope thanks again for watching our video and uh, let me know if there's anything else you guys want us to cover in terms of our, our process for how we build rods, any other tips and tricks that you guys are looking for. Um, all right, thanks again.